Another new approach to searching out the enemy at sea has been put into effect thanks to new high-speed computers. A fleet of ships sailing in a group can link their radar systems together. Not only does this improve the overall range of the radar, but it can generate a highly accurate three-dimensional map, giving clear positioning of high-speed threats, and even allows for fleet defense systems to combine their efforts autonomously. What happens is it has its own built-in communication system, a very high-fidelity radio system, which passes data in real time between the ships, uh, extracting data from individual radars. And within a central computer system that's fitted in each of the CC ships, it forms what's called the composite track. So iteratively, but in very high speed time, you build up this very high fidelity epic chain. What CEC does is, by netting together platforms, it creates a very large volume of battle space. So if, if a hostile target enters that huge volume and is tracked quickly and then tracked accurately, it will give the commanders far more time to decide which is the appropriate shooter to shoot it down or not to do anything if, in fact, it's not posing a threat. Although the threat level of all-out war is greatly diminished, the undersea, too, is reaping the benefits of new technologies. The threat has diminished, it's changed in our modern era, but it has not gone away. And it's also evolved from noisy nuclear submarines that we used to be able to detect passively, that meant that we could listen to them, into much quieter electric submarines that operate in far more challenging shallower waters, which mean that we need to put active sound into the water to bounce energy off them and hear them actively. The new 2087 system uses towed pods that are dropped into the sea. They can be lowered to different depths and relay back information to the ship that thermal layering would otherwise hide. At the moment, most of our ships are fitted with what's called hull-mounted sonars. That means sonars that are hard welded to the ship's hull. 2087 gives us a unique new capability to vary the depth of our sonar with a towed body. That means that we can use the most advantageous piece of the water column at any one time, and the low-frequency nature of its pulse will give us much greater ranges than we currently enjoy. Of course, this data can be tied into a fleet network, giving 360 degrees of surveillance in every direction. Today's complex political and military maneuvers have transformed military thinking. 